This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fashion Fortress. So I'm trying to make this thing more frequent. As I said, it's been a while, as I say at the start of every single video, but let's get right into this thing. So here we have the first loadout. It consists of an Australian rocket launcher, regular gunboats, a specialized killstreak market gardener, a vintage soldier stash, a cold snap coat, and the killer's kit. So, I didn't really get given much information about this loadout. I got given a lot of information about the person, which is kind of interesting as well, but then not much about the loadout, which is fine. Honestly, if I was to improve anything about this, it's like if you want to make the weapons look better, I guess you could swap the regular gunboats out for a vintage one. If you wanted to just keep this loadout, like the soldier stash, cold snap coat, and the killer's kit, you could get a strange killer's kit. I believe they're not too expensive, and like I don't remember the exact price, but I know they're not too much, I don't think. And then I don't think there's an upgrade to the cold snap coat, honestly. But then, I don't really know. Maybe in the future, if you've got a big enough budget, you can get yourself an unusual soldier's stash, and maybe a different hat to wear as well. Since the soldier's stash, I believe, is a misc, and yeah, it just looks really awesome. And honestly, this set isn't too bad. Like, I didn't think it looked bad when I first saw it. I was like, you know what, that looks okay. A few improvements, as I said before, and then you're pretty much just good to go. Honestly, a very nice loadout. So here is the next loadout, and exactly the opposite of the last one, we got given a lot of information about this one. So the weapons are a strange specialized killstreak degreaser with hot rod, it has posthumous kills, soldiers killed, projectiles reflected, and you know, that's just a lot of stuff going on there. They have a strange specialized killstreak shotgun, also having hot rod on it, with pyros killed, giants robots destroyed, and kills while low health. And then just a regular strange power jack with no strange parts on it. That, just for the weapons, is a mouthful. And that projectiles reflected kit, or that part is 3.5 keys. And that degreaser in itself isn't cheap either. So I mean, that's kind of expensive. And for the cosmetics, obviously we have a white gray bands, an apparitions aspect, and a strange bundleer. So he says it costs about three keys, at least that's how much he spent on it. And hopefully he said one day he's gonna get a full cosmetic set to strange, otherwise he'd like my opinion. And I think that he, I should change, uh, like, I think he should change the bone de Lear. Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of sets that don't have like a proper hat on it. It's just something really weird about me. It's just, I much prefer it if they have a hat, like a definite hat that kind of like sets the theme of the loadout. And you just kind of know that that is the main part of the loadout. I mean, this one looks okay without a hat, I guess. The operations aspect makes it look kind of weird. But I, d I don't know, it's just something to do with me and the fact that I don't like loadouts all that much that have no hat on it. I mean, some hats or some misks look like hats, which is fine, I guess. For some reason, I don't mind them. But for the most part, this looks okay. I mean, if you could upgrade them all to Strange, that'd be pretty awesome as well. And maybe upgrade that power jack to another specialized kill streak with Hot Rod to make it fit. I'm not sure 100% why you have a white loadout with hot rod like that, I guess doesn't really work that well, but I mean, that's up to you. I mean, it's still, the weapons are still awesome, the hats are still awesome, and it's still a pretty decent loadout. I'm not the massive, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it's definitely not bad either. So please don't take my criticism too seriously. I just prefer loadouts with a hat on it. And finally, we have this loadout. So this loadout consists of a specialized kill streak, Australian amb ambassador, I can't even speak right now, a specialized kill streak, Australian knife, strange dead ringer, strange sapper, an unusual a hat to kill for with vivid plasma, bruises bandana, and a glamorous lurker's leathers. Now, honestly, I absolutely love this set, mainly because you've got the unusual painted yellow along with the yellow effect. You've also got the Lurker's Leathers painted yellow to go along with the effect. I mean, if you wanted to make it even more yellow, because you've got the golden weapons as well, 
You could also paint the Bruce's bandana. I know it's painted a different color right now, but I feel like if you painted it yellow, it would fit the set better. If you wanted to go for the whole over the top yellow theme, then that is what you should do. And he said he even made both of, both of the Australians team shine and his ambassador has headshot kills, which is pretty awesome. The knife also has three very expensive parts as well, apparently. I can't see what they are right now, but I believe you. And I mean, Team Shine is an awesome sheen. Like, Team Shine is the best sheen, in my opinion, for Australians. Then again, like, I get that if you're going for a yellow theme, you could use Deadly Daffodil. But as a person who owns Australians with that sheen on it, I find it kind of pointless. I don't really like yellow sheens on Australians because it just... I don't know, they're not as noticeable and they're not as cool, in my opinion, anyway. I don't like them as much, but I definitely really like this loadout. I, I, don't, I don't really know. I love Vivid Plasma as an effect, honestly. It's just so nice and, I don't know, it just works well with most loadouts, which is something that not every single unusual effect does, but Vivid Plasma definitely does that. And he also said Vivid Plasma is his favourite effect, so definitely an awesome job on this loadout. And I, I like how even the dead ring is yellow. Like, that is kind of just does it for me. Not really, but you know, you know what I mean. There's a lot of thought that went into this loadout, and I don't know. It looks really awesome. So thank you for sending me this loadout. And yeah, just if you want to make those changes that I've suggested, go ahead. If not, then don't even worry about it. I do really like the loadout, though. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and... Yeah, that's basically it. I've also managed to make this video even shorter for some reason. I don't know how, but maybe, just maybe, we'll start including more loadouts in this series per video if I can make them like that type of length, I guess. Would you guys enjoy that? Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more loadouts in each of these videos. So maybe like five a loadout, four a lo five a video, four a video, and... I don't really know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you would like that to happen. Let me know if you enjoyed the video as well. And I don't know, it's like half 10 and I'm recording this and I'm kind of tired. So yeah, see you tomorrow with another one. Goodbye. I walk with the elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants.